Hey guys, what's up? I am filming this video finally from my new HD camera. If you notice that this is an HD, hopefully this makes my videos easier for you guys to understand and better quality, obviously, and hopefully you enjoy them more. This specific video is going to be a review of the iBooks app that was recently released for iPod Touch and iPhone, finally. It was previously included on the iPad, but Apple just decided to release it in the App Store. So I'll go ahead and zoom in. As you guys can see, the icon is right there for iBooks. Um, it is free in the App Store again, so I'll go ahead and open it. When you download the app, this is the screen you are greeted with. Um, I have downloaded a book, but it wasn't included. There is only one included book, um, so I'll zoom in again. As you guys can see, I downloaded the iPad user guide, and Winnie the Pooh was included before. And you have two tabs along the top. It says Edit and Store. Edit, if you click Edit, sorry guys, it allows you to X out of your books and delete them. I'll hit Done now. And Store allows you to go to the store. Right, first off, I'm going to review how books actually look when you open them. And secondly, I'm going to I'm going to review how you actually download new books. So I'll go ahead and open up the iPad user guide. As you can see, the nice animations allow you to uh, open the book immediately, and it makes it more enjoyable to read. Um, down here along the bottom, you have a scroll um, function that you can scroll through to see the different pages that I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. As you can see, you can just go through all of the different uh, parts of your book or sections of your book, pages and release and we'll go immediately to that page. Um, you get a pretty nice interface along here um, when you're reading the book. Um, as you can see, it, it's pretty good text quality and you can actually, I'm not sure if you can, I haven't tried it, but let's see. Yes, you can annotate, as you can see. Once you double, double tap and highlight something, you can copy it, look it up in the dictionary, highlight, make a note or search. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to do that. And as you can see, you said you want to leave iBooks and open this link. Cancel. So if you have a PDF, this can also read PDFs. This is actually a PDF. You can leave it and uh, check out the different links that they have. Um, and I'll go ahead and as you can see, you can search, which I'll cancel. You can bookmark. You can change the text size. And you can change the brightness. And also you can go to the table of contents of your book by clicking right there. And it brings up this screen with all of the sections of your book and your bookmarks. But I'm going to go back to the library, guys. You can see closing the book is just as nice of an animation as opening it. And now, since I've gone taking you through the interface of books, I'm going to go to the store. If I can do this. this is, sorry, this is hard through a camera. Store. As you can see, it's a nice little rotating animation. And you get five tabs along here on the bottom. You get Featured, Charts, Browse, Search, and Purchase. As well as up here, you get Library. And you can go back to your library just easily by just clicking that button. Or you can search for books just by clicking there and typing it in. But I'm going to cancel. Again, I'll go back to the store. And featured looks a lot like the App Store, guys. Um, you have categories along there on the left and library again along the top. Um, downloading a book is as simple as clicking clicking it. It gives you a preview. You can get the sample or you can purchase it. Just click the little money and hit buy book. Um, that's It's the same way as downloading apps. Charts shows you the most popular. You can see top charts or New York Times top charts. Just by switching between them, you can just click it. Browse. You can browse by just top paid and top free again, just like the App Store. Search is obvious. It's just searching whatever book you want. And purchases. This is where your downloads are, and it shows you what you've actually purchased. As you can see, I have the iPad user guide and Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to go back to my library. Overall, guys, that was iBooks for the iPod Touch and iPhone. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Again, if you if this if you uh, if you got anything out of this, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Just click the little button above the video for future vids. 
and I will be making them soon. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace out.